Hi, this is Emilio from Digital Byte Computing. This guide goes over the steps on how to use your ReadyNAS storage device with VMware and vSphere. We'll be performing these steps on a vSphere 5.5 environment. However, the steps are very similar on newer or older versions of vSphere. We'll be adding storage from the ReadyNAS into vSphere so that it can be used as a data store to store your virtual machines. Select your ESX host under inventory or hosts and clusters within vCenter and go to the configuration tab. Select storage under the hardware section. You'll see your existing data stores for that ESX host. Switch to your ReadyNAS to configure the share it will use as a data store in vSphere. I'll be using a ReadyNAS 314. Process is similar on other ReadyNAS devices. Go to shares, you'll see your existing shares. Either use an existing or better, create a dedicated share for your VMware infrastructure. Select new folder, call it what you desire and give it a description. We'll be adding this folder as an NFS share, so select NFS. Select more protocols if other devices require access and click create. We now need to give appropriate NFS permission to the share, so select settings. Select Network Access and the NFS tab. You may want to set your own permissions here. We'll set any host to have read-write permission. We then need to give root access to the ESX host IP. So enter the IP and give it root access. Click OK. Permissions will now be applied. You can now give the ESX host access to this new NFS share within vSphere. Within vSphere, you'll need to know the full path for this NFS share. In my case, it will be as listed. Take note of yours. Within the storage tab in vSphere, select add storage. Select NFS and next, network file system. Add the IP of your ReadyNAS here. You can find the ReadyNAS IP address by going to the network I have a static IP, yours may be set to DHCP. So find your IP, and this is the IP that we're going to use on vSphere. Enter the full path of the share as indicated, and give the data store a meaningful name. If you get an error message, please go back and ensure all steps have been followed properly. You'll see your new data store now listed, including the capacity and free space of your ready NAS.
When creating a new virtual machine, you should now see this data store available and ready to use. To remove this data store in future, ensure no devices or VMs are using it and then right click and select unmount. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel at Digital Byte Computing. Thanks for watching.